What's good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. This shit is not for kids today, ladies and gentlemen. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have the official MDT Hell's Gate Arena tour for you guys. You can see the beautiful Elimination Chamber chilling in the middle of the arena. We got the orange ring ropes. We got everything going on. It just it gets me excited, man. Just looking at the Elimination Chamber in the MDT Arena just tells me how close we are. Uh, don't worry about the little strings coming off the ropes right there. I am going to snip that. I, I just have not gotten to that just yet because I was working on other things. Um, there's a lot of things to cover, guys, but right here we're going to unveil the stage for the first time. That is the full stage right there in all of its glory. We finally have the full stage put up, and you guys can kind of see. Let me get it at a different angle here. You guys can see here there is the big gates with the MDT logos. You have the Rocky Mountain stuff on the side. You have the green, you know, the Titantron still on the top. You know, that's a trademark. Got to keep the Titantron there. The gates do cover it a little bit. It's not as bad as if I, you know, hold it up a little bit but you guys can see there there's the MDT in the middle you got all the different details in the gates um, one thing I did add to the floor right here is the little dowels if you guys can see that it's like little barbecue skewers and they look like they look like I don't really know how to describe it I guess like Mortal Kombat spikes I don't know if you guys know what Mortal Kombat is uh, pretty much they're just metal spikes you guys know that in Mortal Kombat when you die or I think you lose a life or when the game's over you plummet to your death and then all the spikes stab through you and that's kind of the effect I was going for it's kind of like hell there with all the spikes coming out of the walls you have the spikes coming out of the floor on the uh, main stage there and then on the other side as well to match so we have all the paint detail going in the grays and the different tones I, I don't know if you guys can you know kind of tell there but you got all these different tones on the rocks and stuff i have the black background need to uh, fill in that white spot over there because that's pissing me off that right there you little piece of shit but i need to cover that in with black but uh, for the main part i mean we did do an in-depth little look at this i know you guys have not seen these rocky mountains on the sides but we've pretty much looked at everything else and also the you know the the spikes you guys have not seen the spikes but uh, i need to go get a figure so you guys can kind of see what it looks like up next to this you know to see the scale of it but again you can see all the details guys there was no detail that was not put into this we put all the rock detail all of the different things in all the colors all of that is packed in there to give it the most depth and the most realistic look as possible you have your lava on each side of the stage you have the lava going through the pentagram in the middle lava going on to the other side as well and for this pay-per-view guys i did actually extend the arena you can see that the aisleway is a little bit longer i did extend this if you guys can see right here um there's a pink portion of the table and then there's a brown portion this pink uh this used to be separated the pink portions were together i separated it, inserted this 14 inch board and made the arena a little bit longer that way we'd have some space on either side of the chamber to give it a more bigger feel you know uh, if I didn't add that I think the chamber will be really trapped in between this, these portions of the table I think it would have been really trapped so I'm really glad I did add that I think that the added extra 14 inches definitely is going to help us out when we're filming and you guys are probably wondering what about the roof and all that and uh, this is what I decided to do I literally took the Mattel elimination chamber and I pretty much just just took pieces of that and I have zip tied it to the corners here or to the walls to make it a little bit taller. We'll take my referee right here and we'll put it on top. You guys can see right there. Um, his head is still sticking above, but when you put the roof on it, he will not hit his head. And if he does hit his head, all you have to do is bend the legs a little bit. So I think it is going to work out. Back here, you do have the Vindication and the MDT Live announce tables. Yours truly on commentary over here with Brad. Brad will be returning for MDT Hills Gate. Added some more depth to the crowd. We also have our crowd signs returning. You guys know we gotta have the crown signs returning. Pay-per-views gotta bring out the crowd signs. You know, it gives it a more depth feel to the crowd. One thing I did take note of, I think my my boy Nate recommended this. He said to take my custom MDT championship that was, uh, you know, custom made. It's not the real MDT championship. It's like a, I guess, a fake one, you can say. He said to put that in the crowd because it looks like a commemorative or like a replica that, you know, a fan brought to the show. I thought that was a pretty cool little Easter egg right there, so I plugged that in. These gates are operational. If you guys did not see that, these do, you know, operate. They can't open right there. That's where the superstars will come out. So the D splits right there. It will shut. Um, upon the you know the superstars coming into the arena they will come down the aisle and the first match of the night will be the MDT live elimination chamber so Roman Reigns is going to defend his championship immediately when the show starts they'll come down we have the uh, little gate right here there's the steps this is exactly how it will do we'll open this up 
the superstars will step in there. They will go to their certain pods. Again, we don't know who all drew what numbers. We do know that Cedric Alexander is number five, and then Roman Reigns will be either number six or number four. So we have all the different pods. I did go with the orange ring ropes. You guys already knew that. You can't see the ring skirt, obviously, because the elimination chamber is here. But I think the orange ring ropes turned out all right. They're not as dark as I'd like, but I still think that, you know, they match well, especially with the arena and everything. Let me know what you think of the orange ring ropes. So this will shut. And the way I'm going to film it is I did get a couple of tips from some different pick fetters that have used this chamber before, and they say to remove this wall right here, and I'll be able to get in there and do all the different filming. Now, as far as the roof is concerned, I do have the roof over here on the couch, and what I'm going to do is, uh, I guess for certain pictures, I'm gonna try to zip tie the roof to the chamber, and then uh, when I'm done using the roof or whatever, I'm going to just cut it and then reapply it as I need. It's gonna be really annoying, but it's the only way I can really figure it out. I didn't wanna do it for the video, though, so that is what we're planning to do with the chamber roof. And I think that's pretty much it as far as the uh, the, the elimination chamber goes. I, I think I've pretty much gotten it. I'll probably zip tie it a few other places because it is kind of loose, but all these little walls that are extended are actually very stiff. The zip ties did wonders. These, these little 100 count right here did absolutely fantastic, and they actually worked really well. If you guys wanted another shot of all the crowd signs, I didn't add any new crowd signs or anything like that, so if you guys are looking for some new crowd signs, I do need to get some made. If you guys have any suggestions for crowd signs, let me know. You know, I'll put them up in there. Got the My Damn Nation hanging high above, so you guys know that uh, this is the last stop before My Damn Nation, right? This is our last pay-per-view stop. Then we have our episodes, and then we are, you know, homegrown to WrestleMania. But uh, if this is the arena for Hell's Gate, I can't even imagine what the hell the arena is going to look like for My Damn Nation. I'm sure it'll be an elaborate stage and all of that. But let me go ahead and grab a superstar. I'm going to go ahead and grab a superstar so you guys can kind of see the scale and what it'll look like on the night of Hell's Gate and everything like that. So uh, give me just a second. I guess so here's the elite champion Kenny Omega right here and you guys can see the scaling here. There is a regular six, seven inch WWE elite action figure and you can see the size of the stage compared to Kenny Omega, how big the gates are, how tall the gates are with the Titan Tron and everything like that. I think you guys would agree with me that the black behind there will add to it because if I didn't have the black back there except for this little piece of shit right here, if I didn't have that black background then you would just see the red wall of the dining room and that would be really ugly I guess so I don't know, it may add to it, I'm not, I'm not sure but I think the black works better better just kind of gives it that ominous black you know dark look and you know it gives it a hell a hell vibe but again here are the little uh, spikes coming through i really like that man those those took a, just look at me in the face when i tell you these spikes took me forever to paint jesus christ they're actually why i'm behind on filming but i think they add to the stage i think they give it more life they give it more you know, sort of an evil look to it. I want to get a shot of this real quick. Yeah, that's a badassery shot right there. Kenny Omega coming down to the Elimination Chamber. You got the Hell's Gates on either side. Yeah, pretty beautiful stuff, man. I'm pretty proud of the way that came out. Um, definitely the most in-depth stage to this point. Let me know down in the comment section below, guys. Do you like the Royal Rumble stage better, or do you like the Hell's Gate stage better? I obviously made this one. Al Figures, or Al, is the one that made the other one, but uh, he's definitely more talented than me at Dio making, but I don't know. I think I like this one a little bit more because it's my own concept, you know. It's more personal, I guess, because I personally made it. I did everything about this stage. I didn't have any help in it, so that's probably why I would pick that, but Al's definitely a very talented artist, and he knocked that Dio out of the park. But since we couldn't get him to do this one, I figured I'd have to take the challenge on myself, and I'm pretty proud of the way it came. <laughs> God in heaven. But again, I am proud of the way it came out. I'm still trying to finish up a couple more customs, and then I will continue to film on Hell's Gate. But one more shot of the of the Elimination Chamber here. Pretty massive playset, guys. I mean, it's pretty massive. Let's, uh, I mean, you guys can just see. Let's go ahead and put the referee in the ring so you guys can kind of see how big this thing is. There's a referee, and then you guys can see high above right there. Oh, yeah, that's one more thing that I forgot to tell you guys about. This right here, this ring light. This ring light, I planned on turning it on and hanging it high above the arena. So like high above the arena, because I find that when I'm taking pictures, the back part of the crowd, like back here and then back there behind the chamber, it gets pretty dark when I'm doing like the live shows. I don't know if you guys can notice that the, the crowd gets kind of dark. So I thought about putting some lighting back here so that it shines down on that back portion. So this ring light was gonna do the job, but I can't figure out a way to, <coughs> I can't figure out a way to hang it just yet. So I'm still working on that. But yeah. <laughs> 
But yeah, I'm still working on everything, trying to get it going, but filming should start here today or tomorrow, so. And then it's just freaking hitting the ground running, man. But that pretty much does it for the MDT Hales Gate Arena Tour. I hope you guys did enjoy. Comment down below what you think of the final stage, what it looks like. Let me know what you think about adding height to the Elimination Chamber. Um, if you guys are worried about this, um, the little gaps in the sides, I'll also probably put some zip ties right there, but it works for me. I think it works okay. But thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figures your videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.